Hi, hi, Jan here, and uh, welcome to my messy kitchen and a shopping haul that I've got for you today. Um, now, I'm not sure whether to call it a preppers haul or because this is how I shop. If you look back on my channel a couple of years ago, this is the kind of thing I was doing back then. And yeah, I do have a what we'd now call a preppers pantry, but for, for all my life, I've just called it my storeroom. But anyway, we'll start off here with the toilet tissue, because for for years, at least 10 years, I was buying the Andrex quilts. And I would buy, then buy the cheaper one for, for Neil and, um, and the downstairs loo in it. But then, I don't know, a couple of months ago, I bought some of these, uh, it's the Sainsbury's House 247. I don't know if it's just Sainsbury's that sells this or if you can get it somewhere else, but you've got nine rolls there. They're double length. It's five pounds for nine rolls. And it's every bit as good as the the Andrex quilts that I used to buy, but a lot, lot cheaper. So I've got 18 rolls there of, of the loo roll. I've got some um, Clipper um, Instant Hot Chocolate, because I have that as a treat occasionally. It's not something I have every day. So I do like to have some in, in the store cupboard because when I do fancy it and go to the cupboard to, to make myself one, invariably it's all been drunk by other people. So um, I got that one for me and then Neil's got a tub of Hubbard's that he can, I don't care if he drinks it three or four mugs a night, that's fine. Because it's it's cheap and cheerful and it will do for him. I've got some of the Campbell's condensed soups there, two chicken and two mushroom. We don't ever eat it as soup, but it does make a really good base for casseroles or, or even pasta you could use with that so handy to have in the cupboard just one of those cupboard staples that are very good i seem to pick up a tin of pilchards at least one tin every time i go into sainsbury's these days it's holding its price very well i think that's um about a, a pound a tin I'm, I'm not sure i've about a pound a tin something like that but they're incredibly good for you not awfully popular with the family so if I get them and stick them in the cupboard they tend to stay there and it's a good nutritious thing to have in the cupboard you know for in a, a situation in the future when we just need a nutritious meal and that one big tin would feed Neil and I for at least two days the smaller tins tend to have three pilchards in each so and I find, you know, I'm, I really don't like fish at all, but with pilchards, you put enough vinegar and white pepper in and mix it all up and they're edible. Got a couple of tins of butter beans. I wanted to get some tinned potatoes and they've got the Hubbard's ones, but I find tinned potatoes, sometimes they're really lovely or sometimes they're a bit, I don't know, a bit slimy. So we said we'd get a tin and see how we go with those and see if we like them or not. For some reason, we only picked up one tin of carrots, but I've got loads in store, so that's all right. I normally always get Sainsbury's tuna, but they've started to do this fish one, which um, is slightly cheaper. I think the tins are very slightly smaller, but overall, you know, sort of gram for gram, it does work out cheaper than their normal ones. So we thought, well, we just get a couple of those and give them a try, see if we want to stock the cupboard up with them. I've got a, a let me turn it around so you can read it. That's a Lean Ham by Sainsbury's. What I'll do with that probably is uh, once it's out of the tin, I'll chill it. And then once it's out of the tin, I'll use the electric food slicer to get some really thin slices and it'll be, be just like chop ham then. Well, that's what I imagine anyway. I'm not a lover of ham anyway, but we'll see how we go with that. Then I've got a couple of bigger tins of Spam and corned beef. And then also bought a couple of the Sainsbury's own one. We've tried that before. It's not as nice as Spam, but it'll do in an emergency. If that's all you've got, I would happily eat it. 
I've got some horseradish sauce. Partly because I like horseradish, I, I use horseradish with beef, but also I mix it in with tuna. Because like I said, I don't really like fish, but if you mix it up with, um, the, mix the tuna with horseradish, it becomes a bit more bearable. But the third purpose that I buy it for is if you do get a cold and you're kind of bunged up and sinusy, horseradish is a very good natural way of clearing your sinuses. So I've got some more horseradish. Got a huge marmite mainly because um, they seem to be getting quite low on marmite on the shelf. They didn't have any of the neck size down from this huge one. So I thought, well, can't can't risk running out. So I've got that size and it'll have to do. I switched from um, what do you call it, Hellman's mayonnaise to the Hubbard's couple of months ago mainly because it's such a huge huge price dif difference and um, Neil and my son will go through so much of it if they're mixing up you know tuna pasta or something and often you know we'll mix it up with a bit of peri peri sauce or mustard or something and so it doesn't really matter if it's the cheaper brand or if it's a, you know, if, if it was just mayonnaise to go with the salad, then I would buy the better one. But, you know, if it's just been lobbed in half a jar at a time almost, if it looks, because it just goes down so quickly. So they get that and they can like it or lump it. I got some of the Sainsbury's malt vinegar. I was in two minds about getting this. I like the malt vinegar from Sainsbury's, but... It's now coming in a in a plastic bottle and I'm not happy about putting things into long-term storage in plastic if there's a glass alternative. I would prefer the glass, but it was a case of that's what they had and we do go through it. So, so that was the one that we chose today. You know, it was, it was a case of paying extra for the Sarsons for a glass jar or going with the cheaper one. And I thought, well, we actually like the Sainsbury just as much as the Sarsen, so it doesn't make any any sense. The Heinz, the um, Sainsbury's tomato ketchup, I'm sure I've told you in other videos, um, a few years ago we did a blind taste test between the Sainsbury's and the Heinz. And my thinking behind it was that, um, that the Sainsbury's wouldn't be as nice, then I could finish up the Heinz bottle and Neil could finish up the Sainsbury's bottle. I know that sounds really mean, but he's not got as sensitive a palate as I have. So he's quite happy with the arrangement that he gets the things that don't taste quite as good because he can't taste the difference. But actually both of us in the taste test preferred this one. So in the end, we both used up the Heinz and now we both um, have the Sainsbury's ketchup. Nearly had a disaster the other day when we ran out of peri peri sauce, so <laughs> can't have that. So we just got, I sh should really have got two of those, but I, I was stood with the trolley and sent Neil off to find it. So he came back with one. So that's what we've got. Got a couple of the Hubbard's um, English mustard. Again, if if it's going to get mixed in with, other, with mayonnaise, it really doesn't matter. We use that with mayonnaise or... Um, in cheese sauce, we tend to use it in cheese sauce, so so we're happy to go with the cheaper one for that. Um, yeah, horseradish sauce again. I thought that we picked up two, but we had some in our we had tuna ciabatta for lunch, and when when I looked on the shelf, I thought, how on earth did I manage to get Tesco's horseradish from a Sainsbury shop? And then suddenly realised you pulled one out of the fridge and so they're the two new ones. I've got um, Sainsbury's whole grain mustard, a couple of those. Again, just um, Sainsbury's own because that gets thrown into mashed potato or used as other things. So, and that's just perfectly good enough for us. I've also tend to be in the habit ever since um, there was that massive shortage of them back during 
uh, the COVID crisis, I tend to pick up a couple of um, paracetamols at a time because we're limited to how many we can buy. I also wanted to pick up some aspirin because if anything happens to um, our prescription drugs and I can't get my anticoagulants, I thought, well, at least I can take aspirin, but that's a much higher dose aspirin than I wanted. I would have preferred the 75 milligram. But when we got to the checkout, the lady said we could only have two per purchase. And it's like, well, one's aspirin, one's paracetamol. Yes, it doesn't matter. You can only have two boxes, no matter what it is. So in the end, we put the paracetamol through on the ordinary shop and then I paid cash for those afterwards. And Neil bought the ordinary shop, I paid the cash for for those. It's all a bit silly, but it's their rule. So you can't blame the girl on the till. It wasn't her fault at all. I never use liquid soap, but I do prefer the Johnson's baby soap for me. And uh, that went out of stock for a long, long time. So now if it's there, I'll just pick up a few extra bars of soap. But I don't know, that feels smaller. I'll have to check it with the others I've got in the store to see if it's actually gone smaller. It, it kind of feels as though it's a lot smaller. Then I've got some digestive biscuits for me. And then Neil likes the malted milk or the niece, niece or nice, whichever they are. So that's my packet and that's Neil's. And then I've picked up some chocolate. Now it looks like there's a lot of chocolate. There's six bars of white, six of milk and four of dark. But my problem is when I buy chocolate, I don't get to eat it all. If I stick it in a cupboard, by the time I go to, to get some, it's normally half gone or completely gone. So what I'll do with those is hide them in various places around the house and um, hope that when I fancy a bit, there'll be some there. I haven't ever tried the dark one before. I've tried the milk and it's not great. To be honest, it, it's not nearly as nice as the named brands. But come on, let's face it, when you need some chocolate, it's any port in a storm, isn't it? The white chocolate, however, is equally as good as the uh, Milky Bar. So I'm quite happy to have the white chocolate. There's been a, a problem. I like the smooth peanut butter. And they didn't have my one in Freyda's. Neil has the crunchy one. So they didn't have mine for a long time. So because they had it today, I picked up three. Um, another thing they seem to be struggling to get hold of is their own brand um, pasta sauces. They only had the sweet pepper, um, tomato and mushroom and chunky vegetable today. I don't like their chunky vegetable. The, the vegetable chunks in it seemed to be like half a carrot last time I had it. It was just too much veg and not enough sauce. Um, I wasn't keen on that one. But the other, the others, the onion one, the uh, plain tomato, tomato and mushroom, sweet pepper. I, I really like all of those. And I'll have those over and above Dolmio any day of the week. So I've got those. Um, I've never tried Sainsbury's instant potato before. But again, you know, if you don't like it, add a bit of mustard or something to it. And it, it should be okay. So I've got some of that for the store cupboard. Always pick up, you can see the, oh dear, they've suffered a bit on the way home, but always pick up, they're still 50p each for the tomato puree, but I like to have a lot in the cupboard because they do get used. I always, always, always pick up porridge oats. I've got two one and a half kilogram bags there. So I always get porridge. We have porridge every day for breakfast. Oh look, found myself another packet of biscuits. That's nice. Then a couple of boxes of lasagna. A few weeks ago, they didn't have any lasagna. Yeah, if you catch a glimpse of the cooker top, excuse the mess, it needs a good clean. Um, they had some um, burger rolls there. They were, what were they? They were £1.30 and now they're 65 And I've just realised I'm filming this all in portrait. I'm so sorry. And if I turn it over now, then it's going to interrupt your viewing, so I won't do that. But sorry about that. A couple of pieces of bread. All, all this will go in the freezer. I like to have bready things in the freezer. Uh, just the Sainsbury's 
cheapest bread there. I think it's Daisy or something. Uh, very slightly smaller than normal branded loaves, but quite a lot cheaper at the moment. Uh, that's um, olive olive chia butter. Uh, as I say, we tend to always pick up two, one to eat now and one for in the freezer, so that'll go in the freezer. A uh, couple of bags of soft rolls for Warburton's burger rolls. And they're down from 170 to one pound. So I've got a couple of those. I like to throw these Indians in the freezer as well. So that if, if we really can't be bothered cooking, then we've got a, a fake takeaway in the freezer. Now, uh, the back one, I think, has got the hotter dishes in it. I just said to me, I'll grab two. And, uh, yeah, I think that's... Uh, has that got the jar frazy and... I think that one might be a slightly hotter one, which is fine for me. And then that's the the other one with tikka masala, korma. Oh, I don't know which one's which. But anyway, we'll eat those, that'd be fine. I tend to grab these big, I think that's three kilo of spaghetti. And underneath, they only had the big bag. And I think that might be a five, I'm not sure how big that bag is. That might be a five kilo of um, penne pasta, which I found the other day. Um, opened one of these up and I um, don't know if I can show you that. That container at the top is the one, like the one I got for my son in Asda. And it takes, fills four of those, those big containers, so. In case you're wondering what to do once you've opened it. Although what I tend to do is when I open it, I just snip the very corner of it off very carefully. And then I use my um, food saver to reseal it again. And then it'll be quite happy. And I tend to do that with the porridge oats as well. You know, I snip, the, snip just the corner very carefully and then reseal it. I've also been known to do it with um, frozen veg. Rice is really starting, I don't know if you've noticed, it's really started to shoot up in price. Um, I always used to get Tilda Basmati rice, 10 kilogram bag, which used to be 14 pounds. Today, a five kilogram bag was 14 pounds. And I didn't see any on the shelf, but they have been selling the 10 kilogram bag of Tilda Basmati for 26 pounds. So I moved down to the um salam variety um salam brand not variety it's still basmati it was uh the brand and that was 11 pound 54 10 kilograms but today that was 14 pounds for 10 kilograms and that's just a matter of about a week really it's gone from 11.50 up to 14 but they have got the hubbards one kilo of just basic rice for 45p which means it's like £4.50 for 10 kilo. And I'm going to be stocking up on this because I do do worry about the dogs. If, if you know, times get really, really bad, I'm worried that we're not just going to not be able to afford to feed ourselves, but what am I going to do with the dogs? And so if I've got rice, then at least I can supplement the food that, because I normally have between six months and a year's worth of kibble for them. But if I can give them rice as well and some other things that... So if I've got rice that I can get at £4.50 for 10 kilo, then that's what I'll do. Um, baked beans. Um, the other week when I got um, shopping for my son, we could only get the loose cans and they were 50p each, but the pack of four is, that uh, today they were still 50p each, but the pack of four is pound sixty. so it does make sense to, to buy the, uh, the bigger size. Then, normally I prefer to make my own soup than buy tinned, but sometimes you just have to have it for convenience in the cupboard for if you're poorly or something, don't you? So... I've got four cream of mushroom, four oxtail and four vegetable. I don't know why I didn't get tomato. Hmm, bizarre. I like 
Yorkshire Gold Tea. I would rather not have a cup of tea than not have Yorkshire Gold. It is expensive. I think it's normally about six fifty for one of these size, but it's on offer at five pounds at the moment. That's five hundred grams, which is um, what have we got there. One hundred and eighty tea bags. Is that? Yeah, 100, 160 tea bags. So that's three hundred and twenty for the for the Yorkshire Gold. So, like I say, it's kind of a prepper's haul because some of it will go into the store cupboard. Oh, that's the other thing that I forgot to mention is I also bought a pair of jeggings, which were, let's see if I can find the price for you. They were um, 14 pounds for a pair of jeggings and two long sleeve t-shirts that were sold uh, a pair for 10 pounds. And I got those because when it gets really cold, I often wear jeggings and those long sleeve t-shirts underneath ordinary clothes, just for an added layer, more warmth. So what's that, £24 for those. And then in total, the whole shop together came to, oh, this is the painful bit, isn't it? Uh, £182.07p. It's a... Uh, I suppose not bad in a way there isn't a proper dinner you could make a dinner out of it but oh no we do have we do, we have the indians so that's two proper dinners that we don't have to do anything with then there's um pasta meals there's meat and there's fish there's a little bit of veg there and i started to buy tinned meat because of the proposed um power cuts we don't know if they're going to happen or not but if they do and if there's a problem cooking food then those meats can be eaten straight from the can that's my thinking behind it that we don't have to worry about cooking those so the meat and the fish can all be eaten straight from the can i don't know about the i suppose the the other soups can be eaten cold and because they're condensed i don't know how well how easily they'd mix up if they were cold but Oh, I don't know. But anyway, that's the haul today. As I say, if you go back two years on my videos, and I've got a couple of shopping hauls from back there, you'll see a kind of similar story to what I'm doing today. But anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed seeing what we picked up. And take care. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Lots of love. Bye.